States. He's the director of Medicare Quality Services for Acumetra. And Stacy, if you press the right, it will advance the slides. Thank you. Certainly. I'm sorry this isn't in your packets. Uh, it's not Q Corp or Steve's fault. This got to him no, last I night about 4.30, so uh, that was my okay. fault. Um, do you know who Acumentra Health is? Do you know what a QIO is? I'm getting mostly nods. Okay. Uh, I think the thing to know is that we're on a three-year contract cycle, and we've just started a new contract. And with that contract, there's a focus on care transitions, uh, which if I were to translate that for you, what that really means is a 20% reduction in hospital readmission rates as a national goal. Uh, and we, we've always had fee-for-service Medicare data for our state. What we've never had before is access to fee-for-service Medicare data across the nation. Why is that important? If you are in Ontario and you readmit, it's very likely you're going to readmit to Boise. And we wouldn't be able to see that because Boise isn't in Oregon. And Ontario is in Oregon, even though sometimes they think they're in Idaho. Uh, and I grew up out there, so I can say that. So we've recently, within the last month, maybe a little longer, received access to the national data. And we've run just some very preliminary uh, readmission rates. So I like to slice and dice my data a variety of ways. And I was uh, out, and I was sick. And I, I sent uh, the analyst several requests for data, and she did them all. So I, I, cut it, I did cut it down, I think, to about six or eight slides. But I had about 30 I could have given you. Um, I might have been a little feverish when I put in some of the requests. <laughs> uh, I asked her to look at Oregon Acute Care Hospitals, which there are 33 in the state, and look at their readmission rates within 30 days for all eligible hospital discharges, meaning it doesn't include a motor vehicle accident or something that was not uh, related. And we blinded them, and what I, what I have there for you is the hospital's blinded, they're in no particular order, so you, Jane, can't tell who OHSU is exactly. <laughs> um, and you can see, what I, what I really like about this is you can see what the average is, or the mean, which is 14.12 for that population. I believe this is the last half of 2010's data, it was our most current data. And then you can see the range. We have a hospital that's at 6.67% and another one at 17.74%. So there's a wide range in the state. And I know everybody wants to know who the 6.67 is. And if I had asked them if I could share that data, uh, I would. But I, I did not. So this is critical access hospitals. We have 25. Their readmission rates are a little lower, as you can see, than, than the PPS hospitals. And the range is from 5.71 up to 23.08. Also a really big variance between our hospitals. And then I said, what does it look like outside of Portland? And I identified, and this is how I did it. I took a map and I said, that's Portland, that's not. That's not a scientific method here. I literally said, this is Portland. They're in these three or four counties. This is not. And I said, what does that look like? If you're in, because if you go anywhere outside of Portland, here's what you hear. We're not Portland. It's different here. And I, and I think that's true in many cases. So I said, tell me what that looks like. And we did all critical access and PPS. And boy, 5.71 to 23.08. Big difference. So what did Portland look like? Again, you can see our, our average is 14.32 for the Portland area hospitals, and we go 6.67 on up to 17.75. All I'm giving you is a very quick look. And know that if this patient was admitted to OHSU and ended up somewhere else, it's now it's, it's catching all of these. Could be, they could be in Phoenix. They might be a snowbird. or, or So we are able to catch all of that. We've not been able to do that before. These are all admissions that are preventable. And then my favorite is when I go to different regions of this state, I hear, well, Eastern Oregon is different than the coast. 
So I said, all right, and I just had this conversation with somebody. I said, all right, so let's look at Eastern Oregon. Again, I took a map and I said, this is Eastern Oregon. No scientific way of determining it. I just looked at a map and decided this was Eastern Oregon. Um, we had 17 hospitals, including acute care and critical access. And again, you can see a really wide variance in Eastern Oregon. So when Eastern Oregon says, we're very different, my response is now gonna be, not only are you very different, but you're very different from each other, because that, that to me was a really telling slide. This is Northwestern Oregon. Yeah, it's the corner up by the coast, is basically. 15 hospitals, and again, you can see everywhere from 8.6 to 19.18. You notice that the average or the mean has been pretty, has been fairly consistent. Here's Central Oregon. There are only six hospitals. Even Central Oregon, which is that central coast is what it really is, that central piece of the coast, only six hospitals. Southwestern Oregon, that's the southwest corner. Not as big maybe a variance, but their, but their average is some of the lowest. That's all I did for you. What I, tr what I was trying to do for Steve is give you a look at what our state looks like. And so when I think about what does this mean, well, what it means to me is when I go to a region and they say our area is different, I'm going to say, mm, not so much. Uh, you have very low rates and very high rates in your region. Uh, there is room for improvement in the state. Uh, the data that CMS published said that our average readmission rate was 15, about 15 to 15.7. Again, that's fee for service only, Medicare only. I think Diane's data is all payers, so that'll give you a little bit better picture. We will have in the future, we actually have access to the data, but we don't have the code to run it yet. We will actually have in the future the ability to take a hospital and look at where their patients are going. We can do that currently for specific communities that we're working for, and I have two requests in to do that. It's sent away, and then that data comes back to us. But we will have that probably in the next six or seven months, the code to be able to do that and be able to see if you're in a particular zip code area or a location, where are these people transferring to? So that's it. That's all I have. Thank you, Stacey.